everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at integration by parts. Now, integration by parts is one of the common ways to integrate products. Products in which one function can easily be differentiated and the other can easily be integrated. Now, according to integration by parts, the integral of u is v is equal to u v minus the integral of v is u v. So whenever we have a function like we have number one, the integral of x e to the x dx, we need to identify a function to be u and another function to be u v. Now, u has to be a function that can easily be differentiated and here will be x so that du will be the x we have differentiated. On the other hand, when du v will be equal to e to the x the x so that if we integrate if we integrate then we are going to have that v is equal to e to the x so that is it. Now, it means integral of x e to the x dx is equal to, now, u v x e to the x, x e to the x, n minus integral of v du, v du e to the x dx v du. So now, but now we know that the integral of e to the x dx is e to the x. So it's the same as x e to the x minus e to the x, which is the same as the same as e to the x into x minus 1. So the constant of integration. So this is it for the integration of x e to the x to the x. In number two, we have the integral of sine x. Sorry, we have the integral of x sine x dx. So we are going to let u to be equal to x and the v to be sine x dx. Now the u is equal to the x and v is equal to. If we integrate sine x, we have negative cos x. So now the integral of x sine x dx is equal to uv is equal to negative uv negative x cos x minus integral of v du v is sine x sorry v is negative cos x and du is the x we have negative cos x x so we are going to have negative x plus x negative negative will be positive because this negative will come out of the integral sign to have plus the integral of cos x dx when we integrate cos x we have sine x so we need to have sine x plus the constant of integration c so uh, this is the same as sine x minus x plus x plus the constant of integration integral of x sine x yes all right ladies and gentlemen now we are integrating x sec square x dx so we're going to let u to be equal to x so that v will be sec square x x now we, we differentiate u we have that u is equal to the x we integrate v we have that v is equal to tan x mm -hmm. when we integrate sec square x we we'll come back to tan x so now uh, the integral of x sec square x dx is equal to u v u v which is x and x minus integral of v du which is sec square x sorry integral of 
V is U. V is an X. A D X. That is it. Now this is the same as X than X minus where we when we integrate tan x, we have the lean of sec, sec x plus the constant of integration. So we are saying that the integral of x sec square x to x is equal to x tan x, then minus ln of sec x plus the constant of integration. Number five says integral of x tan inverse of x dx. I'm going to let u equal to tan inverse of x tan inverse of x so that to be to be x to x. Now I'm going to integrate. So when I integrate the tan inverse of x, I have u u to x as one over one plus x squared. Yes. It means that u is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Now, I integrate and have that v is equal to x squared on 2. Now, the integral of x tan inverse of x dx u v that is x square on two tan inverse of x minus integral of v du v du that means x squared on two times one over one plus x squared x. This is equal to x squared on two tan inverse of x minus the integral of minus. Now what I can do is um, I can split off, I can bring out half from here so that I have half times the integral of x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. This is the same as x squared on 2 tan inverse of x minus half times the integral of now this is the same as x squared plus 1 minus 1. So divided by 1 plus x squared. Mm -hmm. Why am I adding 1 and subtracting 1? Adding 1 and subtracting 1, I have not changed this equation. But you are going to see the reason why I am doing this. Because I need to resolve this integral in a way that will not disturb me. So from there I have, I have it as x squared on 2 tan inverse of x minus half minus half times the integral now integral of x squared plus one on one one plus x squared n plus one no now minus one over one plus x squared all this dx now x squared plus one x squared plus 1, they will cancel up and down. So I have uh, x squared on 2, tan inverse of x minus half. 
times the integral of 1 minus 1 on 1 plus x squared. Dx. So it's the same as x squared on 2, tan inverse of x minus half times when I integrate 1, I have x again minus. When I integrate this, I have tan inverse of x. Then there's a constant of integration. So this is it for the integral of this is it for the integral of x tan inverse of x x. In number seven, we have the integral of sine inverse of x dx. So we can let u be equal to the sine inverse of x and let v to be equal to x. We differentiate the u. So if we have, we are going to have that u dx is equal to, when we differentiate sine inverse of x, we get 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's just it. When we integrate dv, we have a integrating dx, we have x. So that is it. Now the integral of sine inverse of x dx is equal to u of v. u v. x sine inverse of x minus integral minus integral of v du v dx minus integral minus integral of v du which is v is x and du is sine inverse of okay no no v du minus integral of v du v is x and du is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared then the x so this is going to be equal to x sine inverse of x minus integral of x over square root of square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so we are going to continue now with the use of the substitution. Let us substitute t, let's say, let's substitute t as um, square root of 1 minus x squared. If t is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared, it means that t squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. We can, in, we can differentiate this equation. So we're going to have that 2t dt. Uh, 2t dt is equal to x minus 2x dx. From here, we have that x is equal to 2t dt over negative 2 dx over negative 2 x sorry uh -huh. 2t dt over negative 2 x and this is the same as t dt over x negative so it's equal to negative t over x dt so, from there we now have that the integral of the sine inverse of x that we had there will be equal to this uh, x sine inverse of x x sine inverse of x minus minus the integral of x on t n times negative t on x dt. 
Yes. Then um, we are going to have it as x sine inverse of x minus integral of this will cancel, this will cancel to have plus integral of dt which is x sine inverse of x plus when we integrate the t we have t plus the constant of integration but now t was equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared so we need integral of the sine inverse of x dx sine inverse of x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared plus c 